Hello and welcome. My name is Larry Arn. We're here in the Richardson Heritage Room of the Mossy Library of Hillsdale College. This is a series of discussions of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you if you were interested that um, the Hillsdale college lecture series on the constitution uh, the introduction to the constitution is going on right now this week the first uh class or the first lecture will be you know you can you could log in all week long to watch it so it's pretty convenient it's kind of neat they've got this little study guide and what i'll do is let's see if i can get in here i'm going to make this document available on Google Docs if anybody just wants to look at it. It's just basically some lecture notes so it kind of summarizes um, the lecture and the other neat thing about it is is that it has these little comprehension questions sort of like a quiz at the end. It, and I've always found that that kind of thing helps you learn because you have to think. Uh, I didn't realize this till later but they actually have the answers here at the back. So. <laughs> The three documents that I have so far on this lecture series available, if you guys want to see them, is the lecture notes themselves. I think it's four pages. It's pretty cool. Also, there is this paper that I found. Yeah, it's it's basically, I think it's an old print, the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Magazine. Uh, it lists the 28, it actually describes the 28 charges against the king and here's the text just a short text version of, that I put together um, of the 28 charges listed in the uh, Declaration of Independence. If you're interested in those documents I'll have them uh, in the link below. You get to hear different you know views and concepts and of course Hillsdale is a conservative college so you get that sort of aspect to it. But it is interesting to see the differences between the Declaration of Independence and how many of those concepts made it to our Constitution. I just wanted to kind of uh, uh, give you a, uh, remind you about the little course. It's only like a 30 minute lecture and I think uh, it's gonna be neat to follow it along each week. It's a five week uh, lecture series. I'm also trying to get Alex involved with this. He's already already watching it. I don't think it's too too much uh, too complicated for a 12 year old, especially one that's a straight A student. I think it's great. We need to start introducing our young people in, into these concepts and get them on their way to understanding uh, our rights as individuals and the concepts of limiting gov government and representation. It's kind of interesting because I was looking just at my notes where he was talking about the the concept of arrangement of government that the Constitution sets up, which is basically, as we know, representation, separation of powers, and limited government. And it's interesting to look at today's government and realize how all of these have been violated in one way or the other. I don't feel like I'm represented very well in Washington. Separation of powers have, has certainly become an issue. You know, you've got the President Obama basically fighting the war in Libya with his own little pen, no congressional authority. You certainly don't have limited government. So it's just amazing uh, to get back to basics again and to realize how far gone our country has gotten from its roots. It's just basically time to educate ourselves so that we can develop candidates and get this country back on track. That's my goal. Thanks, guys.